I recently made a video about the most underrated PBA players. However, there were so many to choose from, I felt that one video was not enough and that it deserved a part two. So today we're going to look at some more PBA bowlers who are extremely underrated. The term underrated can mean many different things and each of these players have different reasons for being on this list. But we will discuss all of this in more detail as we go. So let's begin with number one, Dave Davis. Beginning his PBA career in 1964, Davis was a left-hander who won 18 PBA titles, and this included four major titles as well. As you can see from watching his style, he is incredibly smooth. Now, Davis had a pretty long list of achievements, and yet for some reason, he still seems to be very underrated. For example, he won multiple titles in a season four times, which included six titles in 1967. He also became the youngest player in history to earn three PBA major titles at just over 25 years of age, but this record stood until 2022 when Anthony Simonson won his third PBA major. But perhaps uh, one of the most impressive stats is that Davis had a total of 81 top five finishes uh, but also 24 runner-up finishes as well his last title came in 1978 and this would be his last title on the regular pba tour and most unfortunately davis sadly passed away uh, in december 29th of 2022 at the age of 80 but looking back at his career and what he achieved i think that he definitely is incredibly underrated and is not mentioned enough number two Doug Kent. Another player now who had a pretty excellent career but just got overlooked. Um, Kent was kind of in his prime in a time when there were so many fantastic bowlers that were dominating the tour that he just kind of slipped under the radar. However, Kent could certainly bowl and he had a, a number of fantastic achievements to his name as well. For example, he became just the sixth bowler in PBA history to win two major championships in one year when he captured the USBC Masters and the PBA World Championship in the 2006 and 2007 season. And this resulted in him being voted the PBA Player of the Year for that season as well. The 2006 season was definitely Kent's best, but he ended up with 10 titles overall and four majors as well. And there aren't that many players who have won four major titles. It's, it's not an easy feat for sure. So it is surprising that Doug Kent gets forgotten about um, a lot of the time. But I think it's clear that he deserves a spot on this list. And just before we move on to number three of this list, as I mentioned at the start of the video, this is part two. So if you haven't checked out part one of my most underrated PBA bowlers, you can watch that by clicking the link above. Number three, Jacob Buttroff. There's no doubt that Jacob is a fantastic bowler. However, there is a specific reason why I believe many people underrate him, and that's his rather unorthodox style. I think many people watch him and just think, how can he be a pro? Because the way he seems to run up and then fall off the shot, I think many don't particularly rate him because it doesn't look very pretty. However, it really doesn't matter how you deliver the shot as long as you're consistent and you're able to repeat it. And clearly Jacob can consistently repeat shots and however wacky his style may seem to some, it clearly works for him. Now apparently uh, Jacob is uh, double jointed with a hypermobility in his wrist which is part of the reason he's able to you know, create this very unique delivery. But so far in his PBA career, he's won eight titles and uh, that includes one major. But he keeps making shows and he's showing that he can compete with the best in the game. His recent PBA title came at the 2023 Scorpion Championship. But what many people might not know is how dominant he's been in the PBA regional events. He's actually won, I believe it's 27 PBA regional tour titles so far, including a PBA record of nine regional titles in the 2016 season alone to win that many pba regional titles is very impressive especially at such a young age and i'm sure that he continued to have some great success on the pba main tour and so perhaps it won't be long before people start to appreciate him a little bit more but for the time being he still remains a very underrated player number four mike fagan mike fagan had a fantastic style that was just so enjoyable to watch 
It was silky smooth with an incredible swing that somehow managed to generate uh, fantastic speed, revs and loft with what appeared to be minimal effort. It took Mike Fagan a little while to win his first singles title, however once he got going he started to make a lot of shows. He won five titles including two majors and was probably a little unlucky not to win more. But then in 2015, just as he seemed poised to really start to dominate the tour, he suddenly retired from the PBA tour. The timing did seem odd considering he just won the uh, world championship in that year. But the reason for this was he was trying to pursue his MBA and he decided that he would reduce the amount of appearances that he was going to make in that season. Um, and then the following season in 2016, he only entered three PBA events and then he did not make any appearances in the 2017 season. So I think the fact that he basically retired in his prime makes him underrated because many people seem to forget just how good he was. If he was still playing now, there would be no doubt that he would have won a lot more titles and therefore he would not be on this list. So right now Fagan is both underrated and also a big what if. Number 5. Francois Lavar. Lavar joined the PBA in 2015 and he got off to a very quick start because in his first full season he won two titles including his first major at the US Open. He would then win the US Open again in 2019 and then two years later he won his fifth PBA Tour title and third major at the Tournament of Champions. And during this event he managed to climb all the way from the number five seed in the stepladder final to win this major. So in just six years he's won three majors and five titles overall. That is impressive and it is very surprising that he still gets overlooked. But I think he's definitely extremely underrated. And there does seem to be a theme with this list is that all of these players they've won a lot they've especially in the majors as well so it is surprising that um, people just tend to forget about them but if Lavar continues to perform at the level that we've seen in the last few years he will win more majors and more titles and maybe that's what it will take for people to start to take more notice of him so that brings us to an end of this video I hope that you agree with my list of underrated PBA bowlers but maybe there's still some other players that you feel I've missed off this list. If that's the case, let me know in the comment section below any players that you feel are underrated that I haven't included on this list. And just a big thank you to everyone who has watched this video and I hope to see you all next time. Thank you bowling fans and see you all next time.